When Janelle Jacobson lost her husband Larry of 40 years, she knew she wanted to remember him in a special way. He had a wonderful personality and he was funny. I miss him very much. An avid sports fan and lover of the outdoors, Janelle struggled to find his final resting place. You can put him in the ocean, you can bury them in a cemetery and so forth, and neither one of those appealed to me. But there was something about looking up into the treetops and into the sky that felt different and just right. Something that a Silicon Valley entrepreneur, Sandy Gibson, says is a natural alternative to cemeteries. And what's so difficult about cemeteries is that it's not just a place where you visit that's not as beautiful as you wanted, it's that this is the last moment you ever spent with this person that you love. That's why he started Better Place Forest, which buys up land and organizes conservation agreements to prevent it from being developed. A lot of people choose redwoods because they can live 700 years or more. Instead of a gravestone, customers choose a tree and spread the cremated remains of their loved ones, even pets, at the base. The dual goal, improve the grieving experience and protect the environment. Why did you choose trees, of all things? I think they just speak to you. When you will walk through the forest and you'll put your hand on a tree and there'll be this feeling of groundedness, feeling of incredible comfort. Better Place operates two forests in California with plans to open more near Seattle, Portland, Denver and Flagstaff, Arizona. To rest among the trees starts at $2,900 and rings of trees for a family can cost as much as 30 grand based on height and location. Is charging about $3,000 for a tree, is that expensive? Compared to a traditional burial, it's a lot less expensive. But it's a tree that exists in nature. Well, when you're buying a cemetery plot, you're buying a place to bury. You're protecting a piece of land so that you can bury you or your family there. And we're doing the same thing, except that we're protecting a forest an incredibly beautiful place. It's deeply rooted in tradition, too. Burying someone near trees is very common throughout history. It has to do with our belief that after death there is still life, so it symbolizes sort of regeneration. For Janelle, she found the perfect tree for Larry and her whole family. My husband is buried there, I will be buried there, and my dog will be buried there. And I have three more opportunities for burial and I've told my children that they can have them. A final resting place in the woods for a life well lived. For today, Jolene Kent, NBC News, Santa Cruz, California. Mm.